Okay, I've got several important current event updates. Let's start off with this. In 2021, there was a bill that was introduced in Congress, and of course, Joe Biden approved it. And it requires all new vehicles after 2025 to have a kill switch, kill switch installed. Now, what that means to, to those of you that don't know is that a kill switch is where, where they can use GPS and, and uh, Bluetooth signals to contact this device in your car, especially if it's a newer model, to disconnect the contact between your starter, your key turning, and your battery. So you can't start your car. So, uh, yeah, it's buried within... Uh, over 1,000 pages of this document of in infrastructure. You know, it's all for your benefit. So this is where it's going. And uh, they've already told you that the electric vehicles are the way to go and green energy, which is all bullshit. So what they want to do is phase out diesel and uh, gasoline powered vehicles, whatever they are. And uh, if they don't like what you're doing, they can turn you off, flip a switch, just, just absolutely remotely, you know, disable your vehicle. And I'll, I'll be up front with you. This is the reason why. Three years ago, I had a uh, a newer 2018 Ram truck, and I, I sold it. And I actually made a profit on it in 2020. But uh, I bought an older Ford diesel truck that did not have the kill switch. <laughs> because all the new vehicles do from the dealership. And now they want to mandate that all new vehicles have it. You know, you might want to look into that and see if it applies to your vehicle. Because lots of dealerships have a kill switch. If you don't make your payments, they can remotely turn it off kill switch you can't start your vehicle you can't do shit so it might be advantageous for you to research that now <clears throat> the european union has already adopted the central bank digital currencies it's rolling out right now. It's happening. Now, they're starting it out on a voluntary basis. It's voluntary, okay? So, you know, you can sign up for this uh, dystopian, you know, crazy 1984 crap if you want to. All across Europe. It's starting out as a voluntary thing. But guess what it's going to turn into? Mandatory. According to their laws from the World Economic Forum and the United Nations and so forth. You know, it's nothing new. It's just more of the same control of the human population. And then when you sign up for the CBDC, or you're forced to, 
then you can't buy or sell just like the Chinese credit score system. You can't buy or sell unless you toe the line and do what the government says. You'll be excluded. You'll be shut out. You'll basically be screwed, okay? Also, we have the electric vehicle farce. Folks, I can't tell you, if you want to research it, there's so many hundreds, maybe thousands of videos on vehicles that just spontaneously combust these electric vehicles, you know, and start fires and, and, uh, manufacturers are being sued and by the way if you want to buy an electric vehicle you have to wait like three to six hours for your vehicle to charge it's not like you fill up your pump with gasoline or diesel it's you wait and if there's a line you wait longer charge your vehicle your your battery for three to six hours or more. Does that sound convenient? No. And by the way, the, the batteries are made from, you know, diesel and gasoline powered vehicles that mine the, lith the lithium and all this stuff. It's, it's just totally ludicrous. And also, there's mandatory vaccines for everybody coming. If you live on Social Security, if you live on disability, if you're retired and live off the government, any type of government in the United States, any type of government subsidy you receive, retirement, you're going to have to toe the line. You're going to have to bow down and say, yes, man, and yes, ma'am. You're going to have to toe the line and just submit as a slave, or you will not receive your finances every month. Like I said, Social Security, disability, Government retirement, army retirement, military retirement, all that. That's where it's going. Let's talk about the IRS. So it was a big stink this year that uh, the government, the United States government, posted a listing, and yes, it's real, a listing hiring, you know, over 80,000 new IRS agents. And uh, part of the, part of the requirement was that uh, these agents are going to be able to carry firearms. Now, why was that? Never in the history of the United States have they needed to carry firearms. They can sue you on behalf of the federal government if you haven't paid your taxes. They can file you and claim you as a defector from paying your taxes. There's no need for firearms. But all these 80,000 plus agents are going to legally carry firearms. And the U.S. government has bought all the firearms and the ammunition already. Already. And if you don't pay your taxes, by the way, another new law, they can seize your house. They can seize your house. If you don't pay your property taxes, income taxes, city taxes, whatever. 
they come seize your shit and throw you out on the street if they don't arrest you. Let's talk about Israel and the Muslims, you know, the Palestinians. This is a big shit show. It is absolutely a farce. I'm not making any guesses on to how many people have got killed on each side and all that crap. All I'm telling you is that it's all staged. Yes, people are dying. Who knows how many on each side? Who knows? But this, in my opinion, is going to be used as a catalyst to start the third world war. Because all these Muslim nations are joining sides against Israel and the United States, um, by the way, deceived Christians are supporting Israel, but the other nations in the world, the Muslim nations are supporting Hamas and Palestine. Okay, it's a big shit show. Who knows how much of that's true, but I'm telling you where it's going. It's all intentional. And it's all going toward World War III. Mark my words. It's coming. You feel it in your bones. You know it. And it's coming. Last thing. Open borders. So now the, um, the Biden administration has this brilliant plan. It's absolutely intellectually superior to anything you've heard of before. The Biden administration is now using federal lands like national parks in New York State to house migrants, so-called. They're not migrants. They're invaders that are willingly led across the border. So everybody, <clears throat> you know, that's causing problems in New York City. It's okay. You know, we, we have a nice place for you. We're building housing on government land, on national park area land in New York State. Welcome. Welcome all of you. We'll take all of you in. Because the mayors of these big cities can't handle it. They don't know what to do. And they're kicking them out of the damn cities. So where are they going to go? Oh, let's make a concentration camp. You know, tent cities. Housing for evil people that don't share any values with us. Let's make a, something for them that we can kind of brush them off to the side and kind of hide them until we need them. What do they need them for? Just like Europe, just like Great Britain, the United Kingdom, just like that, when the time is right, all these foreigners that don't share the same ideals, Christian ideals as we do, they will be activated, paid off to commit a holocaust. Against who? Caucasians. Absolutely 100%. I'm not lying to you. I'm not making this up. The agenda is so in your face. If you can't see that, folks, you need to do some research. But in spite of that, all this, Yahweh bless you all. May he take care of you and protect you.